Uh, okay, so for the second well, what's at stake for abstract painting today and where do we go from here? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of abstract art. I mean, I do appreciate it. I do see how what I don't know how they do it or the process that they make abstract art. I do appreciate it, but then I don't see myself doing it. I don't see myself doing making abstract art. But there were a lot of um, explanation questions during this panel discussion. I was like, has any art moved you, or can anyone be an artist? And has any art moved me personally? Um, I'm not sure. Probably, but nothing that's in the moment. Probably, but nothing that's stuck with me for so long. Um, with the question, can anyone be an artist? I say yes. It's, it's what it, when someone would ask me, like, can you teach me how to draw? Do you think I can work on this? Can I be an artist? Yes, anyone can paint. Anyone can be an artist. As long as you're willing to learn and strive and be patient. And this take a really long time. Um, they were also talking about, like, there's a lot of different art rooms. And, like, art fairs. Like, if you're an artist and you're, like, obligated to go and, like... I do understand, like, when I do go to art fairs, like, you can go through the exhibit in 10 minutes and you'll be done. And, like, I do understand the panel, like, how they feel about it and, like, they're just obligated to go. But then, people actually do um, post art fairs for convenience so people could buy, for people to shop works. And it's also for exposure, obviously. Um, it's they also talk about like museums and how museums and curators only show paintings that are that can generate money or like um, something that, that can only generate money and then the whole system doesn't really support like our odd works or like odd thinkers and then that yeah, curators are do are afraid to take um, take on non-normal things. So they only um, they only show works that people would actually buy. So that's what I was saying a while ago that they are afraid of risks, and because of that, um, it's very conservative with the works, and it does not help us move forward as artists, like with abstract. So. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really help us move forward in the art in this in the art world. I, it's so weird because when I was listening, watching this panel discussion, it's more of they didn't really actually talk about abstract art and where do they go from here. It's strange. I I, I didn't really learn a lot during this panel discussion. It's more like I was annoyed. Honestly, I was really annoyed and like. They didn't really tackle on the the stake of abstract art and painting and abstract painting and where do they go from here and like I don't know. They did say that um, art doesn't really reflect the moment in which it is made. So this one of the parts of so there's a show with Amy Sullivan. Um, so that was the quote that art doesn't really reflect the moment in which it is which is which it is made. But then one of the panel speakers did say that no, what is art supposed to do? It's supposed to reflect the moment in which it is made. So I'm very contradicting. Like I don't know. Probably it's just timely. That like, for me it does have to. I paint. I paint to reflect the moment I am in, or in the era that I am in. So I guess the second quote does reflect on me more than the first one. And then, so they also talked about, yeah, going to exhib the exhibit of Amy Sullivan. It's a group show, and then one of the panels did say that always try to learn something from every show. So like you take inspiration and like try to learn from it and not just go there because you have to. Um, also, I feel like the art world 
the way that art world is set up is either you are winning or losing. So, in in my generation, there are a lot of great young artists, and sometimes I do feel down. I, I do feel like I'm losing and not doing enough to be exposed or to have more shows to exhibit my works. So it's yeah. So. Um, abstract art enables more research to take place than other kinds of pictorial manifestations. So, yeah, so you can't really abstract art. I don't understand it as much as like figurative art. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, this panel discussion was pretty okay. It wasn't uh, like the first one I liked the about the figurative painting. So. It's not too bad, but yeah, I did find the panel a bit vague. They didn't really answer the questions of some of the people who were there, the audience. So.